Indonesians have begun voting in their presidential polls. Current Defence Minister Prabowo Subianto is the front runner in the elections despite concerns over his human rights record and claims of improper support from outgoing President Joko Widodo. The outgoing leader has cast his vote in Jakarta. He is set to finish the second of his two allowed terms. Three candidates are in the race to succeed the incumbent president. All three of them have also cast their ballots apart from the front runner Prabowo Subianto. The biggest contenders are Ganjar Pranowo and independent Anies Baswadan. Both have been former governors in their 50s. Over 200 million people of the Southeast Asian nation are eligible to vote and choose their next president. These elections are being touted as the world's largest single elections. Indonesia is the third largest democracy of the world and now within hours the world will know the outcome of the biggest race of the day. However, residents of the Denmark Regency in central Java, Indonesia will not be voting. Head of the voting committee of the sub-district informed that voting has been delayed for the residents of the sub-district and the surrounding villages as well, which are flooded. The floods have affected at least 21,000 voters, according to National Disaster Mitigation Agency. Indonesian authorities were seen making final preparations ahead of Wednesday's elections. Almost 25,000 police personnel are providing security. Remember, election day, it's a national holiday. Voters will also select local representatives and members of the parliament in addition to the president. Defense Minister Prabowo Subianto, who is making a third attempt at presidency, has been leading in opinion polls. According to surveys, Prabowo is a lead of about, has a lead of about 28 points. Moreover, Prabowo's election campaign sets him apart from the other two. He had turned to social media to reach his young voters. The former general tried to rebrand himself as a cute grandfather. TikTok is in fact flooded with videos of him dancing at rallies. The strategy has positioned him as an endearing personality among the voters. President Joko Widodo is also backing Prabowo, but this has led to accusations that he has defied election rules. It's raised concerns that Indonesia, formerly an authoritarian regime, may revert to its totalitarian ways in the election season. The possible consequences go well beyond the boundaries of the nation. For latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.